I wanted to know if I took one of these power supplies, could I actually step up the electricity using one of these? Now this is a MPPT charge controller, but is a charge booster more than just a simple charge controller. So it does step up the electricity. Now, there is another little mechanisms that I want to use. Okay, and that is a DC to DC converter, which you see here. This DC to DC converter will take 12 volts in and then turn it into 48 volts, eight amps. Will we get more power out of this thing? So what we're trying to do is take this power supply, then run it through this DC to DC converter. And then we're going to put it through a MPPT charge controller, which is regular and charge a battery and then dump that back in the grid using a tie grid. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing so you can see it in actual things. But the question is, can we make more power out than we put in? Okay, the answer is complex, but let's say the answer is both no and the both answer is yes. That means no, you can't make more power. You can't just mysteriously make more power, but you can manipulate it. And that's what I want you to see in the video. The challenge is, do you agree or do you disagree? Please leave a comment. Here's the video. Okay, I threw this together. I wanted to make a fast video. It's for a certain person, so I'm not really caring how many people see it. But as you can see, this says 12 volts in and 48 volts out and eight amps so up to eight amps okay so this is a dc to dc converter i just got one little screw in there it's holding it but here's what i was saying so i got this plug i plugged in would follow it around up and around into this thing which we call a power supply it is 40, 480 watts, but it gives 48 volts and 10 amps at the most. We have it set for 12 volts, 12.1 volts, okay? And the amps is 0 0.88 amps coming out of this. Into the thing that we were just saying. See, it says 12 volts, okay? So it's supposed to step that up to 48 volts okay so then we put it on here and do you see where it says 48 volts and then it, it drops down because you're going to lose some electricity that's what they call losses so you said okay so we got 47 volts okay 47 uh, and 58 that means uh, 48 volts and 58, okay? Now, we see that we have 0, 0, 0.41 amps. So, we don't have but, what, half that? Okay? But that's what that was supposed to step up, and you see that's going to drop down on me. But we got it. But then we went over here and put it into a charge controller. And you see we got 47. Let's go back over here. You see that is 47 because we have losses. 48 is coming in. 48.3. Let's see. This says 48 and 8 amps. So we have 48, 48.3. That's checking out. We have losses. So that's 47. 0.58 okay and over here we have 47.5 so that would be 8.8 .8 if you had another space but 
we got 47.5 okay we have 0, 0 0.12 of an amp and the watts is saying around 0, 0, 0, 0.5.4 watts which is going into the battery so now the battery which was at 40 is now at 45 volts and let's see if we can get this battery it's upside down so let's grab another one so we can see it this is the same battery so it's a 36 okay so you see where it says 42 so we're charging that battery a little bit higher than when it was supposed to but the whole point is if you put if you put 47 let's see what we got 47 uh volts into here and this right here is attached to this grid tie over here this grid tie is not on and i turn it on and dump what's in that battery i'm dumping that voltage right there into it now if i attach this directly to this and x x out this thing and the battery this won't be able to handle this will be going in and out in and out that's why i put it through the charge controller and put it through here so all i have to do is now get a 48 48 volt battery charge it with 12 volts that's coming from the grid we already looked at it over here that's where it's plugged in right there and this thing is only putting out this but at the end of the day if i put this back into this tie grid this tie grid right here is either this one or this one that's one of them and i put that energy back into the same plug am i putting more energy into the grid than i'm taking out anyone has the question anyone if you're following understanding you understand what kind of charge control is in and it came from amazon this right here which i i said is a little beast comes from amazon this charge controller right here mppt solar charger comes from amazon so these right here all three of these and all those two 2000 watts all come from amazon so every one of these pieces can come from Amazon. The only thing ain't from Amazon is this battery right here. So the whole point is, is that when you do this, am I putting out, is that what's coming out of this system right now? If I put that into the tie grid, is it putting more energy than the tie grid than I'm taking out? Look at those numbers. Please write this down. See, matter of fact, I'm going to cut off the light and get a good. Okay. So. I'm, I'm trying to get the glare off of there. I'm sorry. Okay. So we saying that it's 12.1 and 0 0.89 amps. What's going into the grid would be 45.48 that was in the battery. And what's going from the solar or the simulated solar is 47.5, which is charging that battery. So if I charge this battery, dump it into the grid, am I dumping that into the grid is more than that that I'm taking from the grid. Okay, answers everybody. Anybody got any answers? Come on, all you guys always try to be critical on all this stuff. So I'm telling, hey, speak up or forever hold your peace because what happened is, is that I'm not producing more energy than I'm putting out, okay? But so how can I do that because I stepped up the voltage? If I just stepped up the voltage, 
okay, and put the same amount of energy that I'm taking out of this, but at a boosted rate, and then I put it back into the grid at the boosted rate, the people at the company can only read the meter. And the meter says, I'm using less energy than I'm consuming. Is that correct? Okay, there's a debate right there. 